Hey guys, welcome. So guys, veteran singer Idris Abdul Karim has come out to thank everyone following the successful surgery that he had. He had a kidney transplant. And what makes this the more interesting is the fact that his wife actually donated her kidney to him. And you guys remember that sometime in July, he came out and put up a video where he was undergoing dialysis. Reading about Suga's best friend, I want to thank you all for all your prayers and your support. And in that video, he reassured um, Nigerians and his fans that he's doing well. And after he receives treatment, he normally gets up and goes about his daily activities. Most He just kept on reassuring people that he was going to be fine. You guys, so um, after a few weeks, there, there's news now that he has undergone successful surgery and that it was his wife that um you know donated her kidney or one of her kidneys to him and guys following the whole report they've been married for about 16 years and they have um three children together you guys the whole news of idris coming out to thank his wife and appreciate her for all that she did for him has actually brought a lot of reactions from social media because you guys know that in fact there has been a, a message that has been trending like a tweet that trended where a guy said that his father told him that his wife is not his family member and his wife is not his blood that the wife can do you anyhow basically now following that whole tweet people have come out to say okay but this is somebody's wife who donated her kidney to the husband and some people have said in the comments that this kind of women not day again no guys i don't know your thoughts are we had people in the comments saying that he had to be a good husband to her for her to think of donating her kidney to him considering also that they had children together and the both of them would not want to risk their lives like what if something happened to the both of them what would be of their children you get so people are saying um he was good to her other people said he didn't have to be good to her for her to do what she had to do for him <laughs> let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section because these people are like um when if you're a kind person you're a kind person that the woman must have been a kind person so even if he was good to her the decision that she took was a very big one so um another person actually said in the comments that and this person was a guy this one, this one struck me because he was a guy and he said that um women will die for their husbands but i wonder if the husbands will die for the wife hmm. and somebody replied saying that oh thank god saying a man they talk this so because if it was a woman people would have said oh it's a woman thing so somebody else said ah he should learn how to use the word some basically saying that when it comes to these kind of issues you do not generalize so the guy actually said um he has seen men leave their wives because they were diagnosed of you know cancer and just basically said he has seen men leave their wives because they gained weight from childbirth from pregnancies and all these things so imagine the wife making this kind of life-threatening um decision especially considering the fact that they have children together you guys don't know what you think in the comment section because for me i feel like um men like the other person said it has to be a something like a some case because there are men who would actually um leave their spouses because they gained weight after um putting to bed some people are actually going to stay with the woman like if i love on the new body and if i feel like this whole thing is about um a good person like a kind person that's why it's very important to marry a kind person because even though this woman didn't donate her kidney to him maybe they were not a match maybe she was not healthy enough maybe just a lot of reasons maybe the man said oh i don't want you to risk your life since my life is already at risk somebody should stay strong for our children there are a lot of reasons why she might not have donated but she could have still been there for him emotionally you know um generally just be there for him and that's like the, the first commenter said is actually very important i think um some people should not come and make it look like oh she loves him more because she donated her kidney gosh what she did was actually very very selfless and it's very very brave and good of her and loving and kind of her to actually do what she did for him but i'm saying that there are cases where maybe the woman would not be able to donate for different reasons but still be there for the spouse anyways trust social media in-laws they have warned idris like after this woman now has donated this kidney for you with or to you we don't want to hear that you did anything you don't want to hear that you said that she wants to bring something else to the table another person wants to bring something else to the table we don't want to hear that she's not doing as she used to do before anyhow she's doing manage her <laughs> so basically people are saying you don't have in fact you cannot treat this woman bad she has literally given you life again you understand so you practically at this point owe your life to her you can let me know your thoughts are in the comment section i think that they are good 16 years of marriage and 
um considering how marriages can be for her to do what she did for him you know i think that they are really in a good place and we're just so thankful that he's feeling better that he's back on his feet at least thriving gradually you can tell me your thoughts are in the comment section it's the rose Tron. i thank you so much for watching if you like this video you know what to do like it like it like it turn on the bell and subscribe i will see you in my next video bye